Again. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Okay, so we're going to do number seven. We're going to do listening, okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me go up to listening. Okay, uh, okay. okay, I'm gonna play it for you. Listening, uh, five, seven. Okay. Oh, there, there is one exam. Your house is very noisy. Yes, it's always like this. Who are all the people? What are their names? Well, the little boy who's playing the drum is my brother. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. girl has dropped a plate. Oh dear. Poor Emma. She made that pizza for her lunch. Why doesn't someone help her? Mm, everyone's busy. Look, that girl has dropped a plate. Oh dear. Poor Emma. She made that pizza for her lunch. Why doesn't someone help her? Mm, everyone's busy. Okay, who are they talking about? Yes. Who are they talking about? What's her name? It's Emma. Yes, and what's Emma doing? Um, Emma. Um, and the girl who is um, Emma is the girl who is drop his the plate. Yes, good job. Emma is the one who's dropping the plate. Okay, yes, well done. Emma, Emma dropped the plate. Why doesn't someone help her? Mm, everyone's busy. Who's the child on the floor? The boy who's watching television? No, not him. The baby girl. She's crying loudly. Oh yes, that's my little cousin, Betty. She wants to play the drum too, I think. Okay, who are they talking about? I'm going to play it again for you. Who's the child on the floor? Uh, the boy baby. who's watching television? No, not him. The baby, baby. girl. Baby. She's baby. crying loudly. Oh, yes. Baby. That's my little cousin, baby. Betty. What's her name? Yes, good job. He wants to play the drum too, I think. That man looks angry. Who? The one who's going out of the room? Yes, that's Richard. He's my uncle. It's too noisy for him. Mm, he can't read his newspaper. That man looks angry. Who? The one who's going out of the room? Yes, that's Richard. He's my uncle. It's too noisy for him. Mm, he can't read his newspaper. Okay. Talking about now. 
creatures is the man living the room holding a newspaper. A newspaper, yes. Yes, that's Richard. Can you see the girl who's watching television? The one behind the sofa? No. The one who's sitting on the sofa and eating sweets? Okay, yes. Her name's Helen. She's my older sister. She's enjoying the program, isn't she? Yeah. Can you see the girl who's watching television? The one behind the sofa? No. The one who's sitting on the sofa and eating sweets? Okay, yes. Her name's Helen. She's my older sister. She's enjoying the program, isn't she? Yes, it's her favorite. Okay, who are they talking about now? Yeah, Helen is the girl's uh, stand, uh, sit down the, uh, sit down the sofa. Sitting and on the sofa and eating sweets, yes. She's sitting on the sofa, good. Who's that boy who's sitting at the table? That's my friend, David. It was his birthday last week, and I gave him a new CD. The music's loud, isn't it? Yes, and he plays it again and again and again. That's my friend. Who's that boy who's sitting at the table? That's my friend, David. It was his birthday last week, and I gave him a new CD. The music's loud, isn't it? Yes, and he plays it again and again and again. Okay, who are they talking about? Uh, this is the boy uh, sitting at the table listening to CD. Yes, listening to a CD. Um, yes, he is the boy. Yes, good job, well done. Now we're going to go over to part two. Let's listen for to part two. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Mum, can my friend Daisy come here after school on Monday? Not on Monday, Jane. You're going to Vicky's house, remember? Oh, yes, of course. I forgot. I'm going to look after her baby. Look, I'm writing it in the family diary, so you won't forget. I was there in Sarah for four years. I just wait for the ad to finish. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see the answer? Did you, can you write something for me? And did you say? Yes. What shall I write? Jane's history exam. Oh, yes. That's important. Can you write something for me? And did you say? Yes. What shall I write? Jane's history exam. Oh, yes. That's important. Okay, Tuesdays, James. What shall I write? James history exam. Can you hear it? James <laughs> history. History exam. History exam. That's important. And something else. Jack has to go to the doctor's on Wednesday morning. He told me. Your brother Jack gets everything wrong. He has to go to the dentist then. 
I've told him three times. Okay, where does Jack have to go on Wednesday? To the... And again, the doctors on Wednesday morning. He told me your brother Jack gets everything wrong. He has to go to the dentist. Then I told him three times. Okay, what does Jack have to do on Wednesday? Doctors, on Wednesday morning, he told me, Your brother Jack gets everything wrong. He has to go to the dentist then. On Wednesday, Jack has to see the... Dentist. Yes. Dentist. He has to go to the dentist. I've told him three times. When is Dad going to go to London? On Thursday morning, very early. He's going to fly this time. Really? What's he going to do then? He has an important meeting at South Television. On Thursday morning, very early. He's going to fly this time. Really? What's he going to do then? He has an important meeting at South Television. Okay, what does Dad have on Thursday? Important. Important meeting. Important meeting. Important meeting. Mum, could we go to the cinema on Friday evening? Um. Yes, all right. There's a new film with Sally Gold. What's it called? Find That Star. No, Mum, it's Follow That Star. Hey, what's the movie's name? Follow. Follow the star, that star. Follow. Can we go to a restaurant before the film starts? No, Jane. We're going out for dinner on Saturday, remember? For your father's birthday? Oh, yes. Sorry. Where are we going to go? To the Saffron Restaurant. Oh, how do you spell that? Oh, Mum. It's S-A-F-F-R-O-N. And they have really good mango ice cream there. How do you spell that? Oh, Mum. It's S A double F R O N. And they have really good mango ice cream there. I know. Okay. How do they spell it? It's S A F F R O N. Good job, Saffron Restaurant. Okay, let's have a look here. Listen and look. There is one example. This was my class. 
25 years ago. I still see some of these people. What do they do now? Well, this boy here, he's a man now, of course, is called Michael. I see him every day because he works with me at the bank. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What about this girl here? Alex? Hmm. She was very clever and she studied science. Now she has a very good job at the city airport. I still see her sometimes because we play tennis together. What about this girl here? Alex? Hmm. She was very clever and she studied science. Now she has a very good job at the city airport. I still see her sometimes because we play tennis together. Okay, what, where does Alex work? Alex is B. Yes, at the airport, B. Who's the boy with the red hair? His name is Fred. He was very funny. At school, he often said to us, one day I'm going to be a clown and work in a circus. <laughs> Well, I met him again two months ago, and he does something very different from that. He sells medicines to people in a chemist's shop. He hasn't got much red hair now, but he still makes me laugh. Who's the boy with the red hair? His name's Fred. He was very funny. At school, he often said to us, one day, I'm going to be a clown and work in a circus. <laughs> well, I met him again two months ago, and he does something very different from that. He sells medicines to people in a chemist's shop. He hasn't got much red hair now, but he still makes me laugh. Okay, where does Fred work? He's A. A, good. What's this girl's name? I know her face, I think. Ah, yes, you might do. She's a famous actor now. She's called Lucy. She can sing and dance very well. And she usually works in the theatre. What's this girl's name? I know her face, I think. Ah, yes, you might do. She's a famous actor now. She's called Lucy Wood. She can sing and dance very well. And she usually works in the theatre. Okay, what's her name? Lucy, where does Lucy work? A. No, we've got A. E. What's this girl's name? I know her face, I think. Ah, yes, you might do. She's a famous actor now. She's called Lucy Wood. She can sing and dance very well, and she usually works in the theater. She works in the theater and she's a famous actor. Lucy, where does she work? E. Yes. Who's that other girl? That's Katie. We were good friends at school, but I don't see her very often now. She was a nurse for many years, and worked in a large hospital near here. But three or four years ago, she left, and now she works at home. She looks after small children for parents who go out to work. Okay, where does Katie work? Is me. Which one? B. B. 
We've got B. E. No, I can't hear what you're saying. You have to type it. Patty is letter B. B. I don't know what you are saying. Which letter? Where does Katie work? D. Yes, she is a D. Good. Who was your best friend? This boy here. His name is Paul. He's a businessman now, and he's very rich. He makes and sells fridges. We play golf sometimes, but I don't see him very often because he's so busy. He's always at his factory. This boy here. His name is Paul. He's a businessman now, and he's very rich. He makes and sells fridges. We play golf sometimes, but I don't see him very often because he's so busy. He's always at his factory. He works all the time. Oh, dear. Okay. Where does Paul work? H. Good. Okay, let's listen to this one. Part four, listen and look, there is one. A Nivea Rich Nourishing with 48 hour moisture for nourished and tiny skin, buy and you could win. Now you listen and tick the box. One, which is Tom's picture? Now, let's look at the pictures that your class painted. Which is yours, Tom? It's got a rocket in it. Hmm. Is it this one? No. My picture has a planet like that one, but mine's got stars in it, too. What is Tom going to paint today? Let's look at the pictures that your class painted. Which is yours, Tom? It's got a rocket in it. Hmm. Is it this one? No, my picture has a planet like that one, but mine's got stars in it too. Okay, which one is Tom's picture, Jillian? Okay, which one is Tom's picture? Yes. I can't see you and I can't hear you. You need to show yourself Let's and show see. that you are learning. That's the B. Two, what is Tom going to paint today? What would you like to paint today? A tiger in the jungle? Tom. You always choose that. Paint something different this time. What about spiders on a leaf? Or in a cave? Yeah, that's better. Okay, what is he painting today? It's like a ray. What does Tom need next? Have you finished with the scissors, Tom? Mary needs them. Yes, I have. What's she doing? She wants to cut some pictures out of a magazine. Oh, is there any more paper, Miss Rock? I need some 
for another picture. Yes, there are some on my desk. Four, pictures out of a magazine. Three, what does Tom need next? Have you finished with the scissors, Tom? Mary needs them. Yes, I have. What's she doing? She wants to cut some pictures out of a magazine. Oh, is there any more paper, Miss Rock? I need some for another picture. Yes, there are some on my desk. Good. <clears throat> Four, what time does the football game start? Our school team is going to play football with West End School at four o'clock, miss. Are you going to watch us? I'm not sure, Tom. This lesson finishes at 3.15. Then I have to tidy the classroom. Oh, please, Miss Rock. It's an important game. All right, but I can't stay until the end. I'll have to leave at five. Five. What at four? What time does the football game start? Our school team is going to play football with West End School at four o'clock, Miss. Yes, good. Four Are o'clock. Are you going to watch us? I'm not sure, Tom. This lesson finishes at three fifteen. Then I have to tidy the classroom. Oh, please, Miss Rock. It's an important game. All right. But I can't stay until the end. I'll have to leave at five. Five. It is four. Good. What are the new team clothes like? Have you seen our new team clothes, Miss Rock? Of course I have. White shorts and a red and black shirt. No, Miss. It's different now. We wear black shorts and a red and white striped shirt. What about socks? They're white, like before. Five. What are the new team clothes? See, like? Alain, I can't see you, sweetie. There we go. Have you seen our new team clothes, Miss Rock? Of course I have. White shorts and a red and black shirt. No, Miss. It's different now. We wear black shorts and a red and white striped shirt. What about socks? They're white, like before. Now listen to part four again. One, which is Tom's picture? Now, let's look at the pictures that your class painted. Which is yours, Tom? It's got a rocket in it. Hmm. Is it this one? No. My picture has a planet. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Would you like to color this picture? Okay. Shall I color the man whose foot is in the water? Yes, all right. Color his face blue. Okay. That's the best color for him, I think. One. Now, can you color one of the snowmen? Which one? The one between the trees? No, the big one at the front. Okay. Can I color it yellow? Yes, that's fine. Okay, what, are, what is he coloring? Hmm. Color is yellow. Which one? Is or snow? Yes, color is yellow. Yellow is this one. Good. Two. Look, they are throwing snowballs. Would you like to color one of those children? Yes. Can I color the one next to the skis? All right. Color his trousers brown. Two. Look, 
They're throwing snowballs. Would you like to color one of those children? Yes. Can I color the one next to the skis? All right. Color his trousers brown. Okay, what are we coloring? Color is... Um... Is brown. What must be brown? Is the trouser. Trouser children. Yes. Can I color the one next to the ski? Oh, these trousers. All right. Three. I'd like you to write something now. Can you see the man in the fur hat? Yes. He's pointing at a board. Right. Under the word fin, I'd like you to write the word ice. Okay, I've written it. You have to write the word ice. Yes. Good, then ice. Oh, can I draw something now? Yes, of course. Look at the mountain. Which one? The one which is further away? That's right. It looks smaller. Draw a house on the top of it and color it purple. All right. Oh, can I draw something now? Yes, of course. Look at the mountain. Which one? The one which is further away? That's right. It looks smaller. Draw a house on the top of it. All right. Okay, what's number four? Draw a house and draw a house, yes, and make it purple. Good. Five. Now, can you see those two girls with bikes? Yes, I can. Shall I color the one who's pushing her bike? No, color the other one. The one who's riding over the bridge. All right. Can I color her jacket green? Yes, that's fine. You finished now. Well done. Five. Now, can you see those two girls with bikes? Yes, I can. Shall I color the one who's pushing her bike? No, color the other one. The one who's riding over the bridge. All right. Can I color her jacket green? Yes, that's fine. You finished now. Well done. Okay, these two. Now listen to part five again. Notebook is equal with Parmalax is a perfect book for everyone. For me, it's Parmalax as a fish. There is one example. From two, I think. That man looks angry. Who? The one who's going out of the room? Mm -hmm. Yes. Who needed them, I think? Yes, we did.
Test two. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, this is a picture I took when we went camping. What terrible weather. Yes, but we had a lot of fun. But look at Sarah. She doesn't look very happy here. Is that her, the girl who's holding the tent? Yes. Okay, can you see? Yes, I can see. Okay. Um. Who's the person with the umbrella and the big bag? Oh, that's my uncle. His name's Robert. Did he drive you there? Yes, it was a nice sunny day when we all left home. You want to listen again? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play it for you now. Um. Who's the person with the umbrella and the big bag? Oh, that's my uncle. His name's Robert. Did he drive you there? Yes, it was a nice sunny day when we all left home. Okay, do you know who they're talking about? Yes. Robots is the man holding the umbrella and a big bag. He's holding the? Holding the umbrellas and yes. Bag. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, good. Uh, Weren't you afraid in the storm? No, I wasn't, but Michael was. He didn't want to come outside. Can you see him? Oh, yes. What's he doing? He's reading his comic, I think. Weren't you afraid in the storm? No, I wasn't, but Michael was. He didn't want to come outside. Can you see him? Oh, yes. What's he doing? He's reading his comic, I think. Okay, do you know where Michael is? Michael's is... Michael's is the boys reading a comic book in the class. Mm. And who's that? You can't see her face very well. The person by the trees? Not her. The girl with a rucksack. What's she doing? Oh, you mean Katie. I think she's looking for her scarf. And who's that? You can't see her face very well. The person by the trees. Not her. The girl with a rucksack. What's she doing? Oh, you mean Katie. I think she's looking for her scarf.